All right, we had some rainfall overnight and officially out at the airport. We picked up 1.67 inches of rain, not enough to get us out of a deficit that we're currently in, but nonetheless, it's a step towards the right direction to get uh, some of those rainfall drops into the bucket there. We still have a few little thunder showers that are in the vicinity, but most of it is off into the Gulf of Mexico. Our Doppler radar is uh, scanning the skies early this morning, and as we zoom in uh, closer here to Corpus Christi, we have this thunder shower that is off into Corpus Christi Bay, moving closer towards the island along 361, uh, but nonetheless not bothering a whole lot of people at this point, and this is going to continue to move off into the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of hours or so. One lonely little thunder shower off near Baffin Bay as well, and off between Premont and Falfurias into northern uh, Jim Hogg and Brooks County. Uh, we got the uh, lo another lonely little uh, moderate shower at this point. Again, none of this activity is severe. We had a couple of little sprinkles up in the northern sections as well, up around Bevo and up into the uh, central Refugio uh, County region and near Goliad as well. But for the most part, as I mentioned, this is all exiting offshore right now. This is all associated with an upper level disturbance that was across the region. And again, you can see most of the activity off into the Gulf there. It has left us with some nice, uh, cooler air in the region, not quite as warm. At 75 here, water temperature out at the Packery Channel is holding on to 85 degrees. It's 72 from uh, out in Mathis as well as in Heavenville, but 74 out in Orange Grove and into the middle 70s off in Beeville as well. Our dew point's still holding on to the lower 70s, so it's uh, quite muggy off and about, but again, it's going to be on the way up. So for today and for tomorrow, we'll still look for the upper 60s. And then Friday on into Saturday, we are really going to begin to pick those back up. And that's when afternoon highs that'll be into the middle 90s. The heat index associated with those dew points will go back up to around 105 to 115 plus. Get ready for that. Hour by hour forecast for today by 10 o'clock will be into the lower 80s holding on to mostly cloudy skies. And then by the afternoon, once again, I think we'll pick up the afternoon sea breeze. Some of those little uh, pockets of moisture near the coastline will start to move back inland. Uh, but despite that, we're still going to manage the middle 90s into the afternoon hours with an east to northeasterly wind around 7 to 14 miles an hour. So 94 here, uh, middle to upper 80s from Port Aransas over to Rockport and getting close to the middle 90s from Alice on the way over to Freer. So as you're, if you're headed off to the island today, Padre Mustang Island, east southeasterly wind 7 to 14. The seas will be about two feet and the bays will be fairly smooth off and about. As we take a look at some of the high tides across the area, out at Bob Hall Pier later on this morning at 1112, out at the Port Aransas Jetty at 1114, Nueces Bay later on this afternoon at 507, and out at the Packery Channel at 221. So use caution off and about. The winds have pretty much been behaving over the last couple of days, everyone below about 20 miles an hour. But again, with increasing humidity on the way, that means the wind has to be increasing as well. So by Friday and on into Saturday, going uh, right on into the uh, Father's Day weekend, that's going to be increasing about 15 to 20 25 miles an hour at this point. We do have another frontal boundary up to the north that is entering northern sections of the state that is going to make its way all the way down once again and keep those dew points into the middle to upper 60s. Not going to do a whole lot to bring us any cooler air. Unfortunately, that remains up to the north. We're there into the 40s and 50s. Once again, we're in the 70s, but already 80s off into the desert southwest. That's where that's going to stay as the high pressure system starts to move right back into the area on Thursday and on into Friday. That means the dew points and I, I should mention temperatures will start to increase. NEC Co-op Energy 7 day forecast 94 for today. Some isolated thunder showers in the forecast 95 tomorrow and then 96 to 98 all the way through the Father's Day weekend. Very hot and very humid as well. Stay with us folks. There's more coming up on Chris 6 News Sunrise.